Proceed only after you read Chapter 12 and complete reading Assignment 12 on Blackboard. In this chapter, we use several chi-square tests to test independence and fit. Goodness of fit tests include determining if the data is from a normal distribution. We assumed sample means were normally distributed and the samples were independent in the difference of mean test of Chapter 10. In Chapter 11, the chi-square test statistic relied on the assumption the data was normally distributed. In Chapter 14, errors from a regression are assumed to be normally distributed and independent. So instead of assuming normal distributions and independence, we can use techniques in this chapter to test the validity of these assumptions. For a goodness of fit test, state the null and alternative hypotheses. The null hypothesis is always of the form the data follow the assumed distribution. Select a random sample and record the observed frequencies for k categories. Compute the expected frequency of the ith category, which equals the sample size times the probability of category i. Compute the value of the test statistic, which is denoted chi-square stat, which is found by squaring the k deviations of the observed frequency, fi, from its expected frequency, ei. Dividing each of these by expected frequency, ei, and then summing all k of the resulting ratios. If every expected frequency is at least 5, the chi-square stat has a chi-square distribution. The null, the null hypothesis is rejected if the chi-square stat is big. The chi-square stat is big if it is larger than the critical value, denoted chi-square subscript alpha. The critical value is found in the chi-square distribution table. In the column corresponding to significance level alpha, and then the row corresponding to the degrees of freedom, which are equal to the number of categories, k minus 1. In the following example, Finger Lakes Homes manufactures four models of prefabricated homes. A two-story colonial, a log cabin, a split level, and an A-frame. Note, there are four categories, so k equals 4. To help in production planning, management would like to know if previous customer purchases indicate that there is a preference in the style selected. The number of homes sold of each model for 100 sales over the past two years is shown below. The observed frequencies are as follows. Finger Lakes Homes sold 30 colonial homes, 20 log homes, 35 split level homes, and 15 A-frame homes. The null hypothesis is colonial home preference equals log home preference, which equals split level preference, which equals A-frame preference. Since there are four categories, the preferences all equal 1 divided by 4, or 0.25. The value 0.25 can be interpreted as the probability of each category. Hence, this test is attempting to determine if the uniform distribution describes the style of home sold by Finger Lakes Homes. The alternative hypothesis is customers prefer a particular style. That is, there is at least one proportion much greater than 0.25. Expected frequency EI is equal to the sample size times the probability of the ith category. Thus, the expected frequency of the first category is equal to 0.25 times the sample size of 100 homes, which equals 25. The expected frequency of the second category is equal to 0.25 times the sample size of 100 homes, which equals 25. The expected frequency of the third category is equal to 20, 0.25 
times the sample size of 100 homes, which equals 25. The expected frequency of the fourth category is equal to 0.25 times the sample size of 100 homes, which equals 25. The chi-square stat is equal to the first square deviation of observed frequency 30 from its expected frequency of 25 divided by expected frequency 25 plus the second squared deviation of observed frequency 20 from its expected frequency of 25 divided by 25 plus the third squared deviation of observed frequency 35 from its expected frequency of 25 divided by expected frequency of 25 plus the fourth square deviation of observed frequency 15 from its expected frequency of 25 divided by expected frequency of 25. Notice the expected frequencies are all 25. If the null hypothesis is true, these differences will be small, providing evidence that the whole null hypothesis is true. Simplifying yields a chi-square stat equal to 10. The mean of the chi-square distribution is the degrees of freedom, the number of categories minus 1. Since there are four categories, the mean of this distribution is 3. The critical value for this test is in the chi-square distribution table. The critical value is in the row corresponding to three degrees of freedom. And in column that, is, that corresponds to significance level of 0.05. Thus, the critical value is 7.815. The probability of being greater than this number is 0.05 the significance level, which is shaded red. The probability of being less than this critical value is 0.95, the white area under the distribution. The critical value defines the do not reject the null and reject the null regions. The chi-square stat 10 is in the reject the null region because it is larger than the critical value from the chi-square distribution table. 7.815. Thus reject at the 5% level of significance the assumption that there is no home style preference. For the independence test, first state the null and alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis for the independence test is always of the form the row variable is independent of the column variable. Select the random sample and record the observed frequencies for each cell of a contingency table. Compute expected frequency of the cell in the i row and jth column, which equals the product of the row i's total and column j's total, divided by the sample size. Compute the value of the test statistic, which is denoted chi-square stat, which is found by squaring the k deviations of the observed frequency, Fij, from its expected frequency, Eij, dividing each of these by expected frequency, Eij, and then summing all of the resulting ratios. If the expected frequencies, denoted Eij, are all five or more, the chi-square stat has a chi-square distribution. The null hypothesis is rejected if the chi-square stat is big. The chi-square stat is big if it is larger than the critical value, denoted chi-square subscript alpha. The critical value is found in the chi-square distribution table, in the column corresponding to the significance level alpha, and the row corresponding to the degrees of freedom the product of the number of rows, m, minus 1, and the number of columns, k, minus 1.